مساء الخير مرحبا واهلا وسهلا فيكم في برنامج نداء وهاليوم رح نبدي برنامجنا بامراه حققت احلامها هي زهاء حديد من اكثر المهندسين الشهره في العالم تركت بصماتها الرائعه على كثير من المدن من حول العالم تصاميمها ثوريه دراماتيكيه انيقه وشيقه وزهاء حديد امرأة جريئة مثل تصاميمها اللي تعتبر قوة بتعرف عنها التقيت بهذه المرأة العربية والعراقية الناجحة في مكتبها بلندن خلونا نسمع الحديث زهاء حديد مهندسة ومصممة معمارية عراقية المنشأ وصفها فرانجيري بأنها قوة استثنائية من قوى الطبيعة كانت أول امرأة تحصل على جائزة بريتسكر المعمارية القيمة أعمالها الأولى عرضت مفاهيم جديدة عن الحيز والمساحة كما هو موضح في مضمار إنسبرغ للقفز التزحلقي على تلة برغيزل ومركز النمسا المؤثر للفن المعاصر في سنسناتي مؤخراً خاضت غمار بحث معقد في تصاميم الحيز السلس من خلال أعمالها كمركز الألعاب المائية في قرية الألعاب الأولمبية في لندن عام 2010 ومبنى جالكسي سوهو الرائع في بكين وبلازا سين ودوم ديمون في سول في جنوب كوريا هي معلمة صاحبة رؤية وفي بعض الأحيان مثيرة للجدل وقع تأثير تصاميمها على نظرتنا للمساحات التي نعيش فيها حول العالم Thank you very much for this. فرصة سعيدة جدا جدا. يعني do you feel you are one of the strongest? I really don't. You don't? No. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, of course, you know, I I have a, a degree of confidence, you know, oh. but uh, you know, I say this all the time, and people don't misunderstand me. Um, my my daily life. And and as an architect, is a struggle, continuous struggle. Mm-hmm. So, from the outside, you you might seem to be mm-hmm. great success or whatever. But you, I don't feel it. Mm-hmm. But architecture, I think, mm-hmm. for women, is particularly difficult. Mm-hmm. And a foreigner, and I, I can't. I don't want to say a particularly for an Arab, but it really is. Um, there is so much bias. Which one was tougher? Being I a foreigner that, or b- being a woman? I think both. <clears throat> because I had an opinion, I was seen as difficult, but if it was somebody like me, was a male who did exactly the same, would not be seen as difficult. I think also the fact that I was an Arab in the Arab world, because I would have connections and stuff like that, and people understand me. I notice a lot of the other interviewers, they're like fascinated. Wow, this great architect, she comes from Iraq, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's a surprise. <laughs> I remember like 20 years ago, I was interviewed by a journalist in, from Germany. 25 years ago. She said to me, you know, oh my God, you know, Iraqi, how did you get here? I said, by airplane. You know, what else did they sing me? I think I came on a camel. What is in your childhood, in, in about Iraq, what, what be the smell or a memory of a family or anything like that that inspires who you are today? Both my parents were very liberal and, you know, and um, my mother was extremely stylish. They stayed with me all my life. And like the whole, uh, You know, like the physical look of Iraq, you know, the, the low houses, the, the palm trees, the palm tree ranches, uh, you know, all that. You know, it, it comes from an incredible, with enormous generosity and great spirit. And there was also great artists, but I think it was a very exciting time. And also, I used to go to Beirut all the time because my, my um, brother married Lebanese. So I think it's all of these. It's a composite of all these things that influenced me, maybe. So... What I love the most about, not only your designs, about you, the person that is Zaha Hadid, is you are daring. You're daring in your design, you're daring in your outfit today, you're daring in expressing your views. I was like, since I was a kid. And my, my, I used to always dress myself, put my things on my hair, and, and my mother used to say to me, you know, you look, you look like Carmen Miranda. You know, like, you know, the girl with the bananas, <laughs> dress up and insisted on doing certain eccentric things. I have a, a more a woman-to-woman question. Uh, being from Iraq, both of us, and my family actually was also a liberal family, believed in my education no, and my freedom. Exactly. But then there was also the pressure of, or not the pressure, or the expectations. You should get married, you should have, no, I mean, it was like a peril. Not in your case. No. I mean, 
I'm sure my mother secretly wanted me to get married. Uh, my, they never put any pressure on me. That's None right. of them. Actually, my brothers never interfered in my life. I was living in London. You know, um, if they ever did criticize me for something which is not important, my father said, listen, she's my daughter. She can, I have confidence in her. She can, she can handle herself. Absolutely. And it's true. And it comes back when I designed my, my, my bedroom. She said, listen, I know you're imp impossible. You want a bedroom, a new one? You design it yourself. And she was the one who taught me to draw. Because I was also a very, I couldn't sit still, so she would give me a blackboard and teach me how to draw. Your designs are for me. It's between absolute femininity, you know, and between nature. It's more to do with the learning from nature. It didn't start like that. I mean, it started very abstract. And then there was one particular project in the early 90s. I always was interested in fluidity within the domain of a like, rectangle, but abstract uh, fluid space. We started talking about liquid space or whatever, but we didn't, you know, at the time, we did not really know what that means hmm. as a project. Do you have a favorite? I like the Baku project. I think that's a very interesting project. People don't realize it's not, it's not one building, it's three buildings converged together and it's completely seamless. The ground flows into the wall, the wall becomes a ceiling, becomes the next building. You know, it's a continuous uh, surface. I mean, I actually, I love the Sheikh Said Bridge. How, tell me more about that. It took a long time to make. Oh, it was the idea with the dunes. So like a dune starts off and, and or maybe also like a calligraphy starts flat and goes up and down. You said once that part of the reason you were able to manifest your, your dreams and, and your designs is that people were sometimes afraid to challenge you. I think people could not understand what I'm up to. For a long time, they didn't bother me because they thought I was just nuts. They didn't, they didn't understand why I would do such a thing. You know, why would I decide to show buildings like paintings? I mean, you know, the, around the whole cut of Opera Head House, which was absolutely not my fault. Even 10 years later, people were saying, well, if you had drawn it differently, I said, you don't understand. It had to be drawn that way. And it's not because it's drawn differently that I, they didn't like it. They didn't like it, full stop. They didn't like it because it was different than what they expected. They didn't like it because it was a woman. They didn't like it because I was, at the time, Iraqi. That was, but, but, yani, you know, if you say Iraqi, I mean, my God, you know, Saddam Hussein is going to bomb them. I mean, it was just unbelievable like that. And, and uh, of course, they would never come and say to me, we don't like you because you're an Arab. They never say such a thing. Till this very day, it's the same problem. Yeah? But they're not going to say that to me. But it's important to say how you dealt with this. So you read it for what it is, and no, you did I not just, take it I personally. Just, I mean, people think I'm, I'm rude. I'm rude only because I don't play up to them. You once described yourself as a feminist. How would you say I'm that? Not, I didn't take on the feminist agenda, per se. I do think that people underrate women. I think, I think women and men are different, but they are not less intelligent or more intelligent. They think differently, maybe. But I have, you know, let's say 400 people in the office and 60% are men and 40% are women. I can't tell you the difference between them and the way they think. Maybe on a personal matter, they're different, you know? Maybe a rectory situation, but not in design. Uh, so. I actually was wondering if I can do the quick questions now about your favorite things. Uh, what's the song that you are lately uh, listening to a lot in your I, I'm listening now for the past four months to Sam Smith. Guilty pleasure. Nice food. Where do you go to unwind? I like the sea to be on a beach or by the pool. That will be my ultimate. What is the project you are yet, as a dream, you are yet to do? Uh, I still think uh, it would be interesting design of a whole city. I think that would be very interesting. That is actually pretty cool. What's your biggest love? I must say I like people. I'm a people person. Anything that people don't know about you? I'm funny. <laughs> well, love. Look out. Very funny. <laughs> Even I laugh at myself. <laughs> I mean, you can't take yourself too seriously. Uh, whether you're successful or not successful. So I think, you know, you have to chill, chill. <laughs> chill factor is important. 
I mean, I kind of, I see these people, I'll take him some so seriously. It uh, freaks me out. I mean, what is that about? No, that's pretty cool. That's the way to do it, is enjoy life. Might as oh, well. Absolutely enjoy Yes, that. yes. Thank you, Zaha. This is truly an honor to be with you in your company. You're inspiring for many, 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 many women, and definitely me. It's having you here, too. Wallahi, thank you. <laughs> شكرا لك يا زها حديد انت من النساء الملهمات بالنسبه لي لانه عندك جراه بتحقيق احلامك ونظريتك في الحياه